Hello, Bodkin here. Well, did I save any money with a heated close error? That there was a bit of a rage about them during the cost of living crisis, especially last year. To be honest, they did seem to take forever to dry the clothes, anywhere up to 10 hours in some cases, really damp clothes, especially sodden towels. Another issue you've got to be careful of, drying indoors, is that you don't create dampness in rooms, because I've heard of this, not just with towel rails, but with any type of clothes drying on radiators, for example. With taking anywhere up to 10 hours to dry really damp clothes, it was no cheaper than just running a conventional tumble dryer. So this is when a money saving gadget doesn't really work. It sounds nice, but the practicalities of it are not there. Would I buy another one? Not really, no. The time you have to mess around moving clothes around on it so the clothes were thoroughly dry. It wasn't worth the um, effort. One good note is it made quite a cheap low wattage heater in a small room <laughs> with it only being 260 watts. It would heat a room up a few degrees, but only a small room. So there's my thoughts on it. Just to let you know how they actually work is once you've placed your clothes on the area and you put the cover that normally comes with them, you basically, it's, it's like a humidifier, not a dehumidifier, humidifier. It's creating humidity, putting the dampness out of the clothes. Then what you would do ideally is have a, a window open so the dampness dissipates out of your room from the air. So that's the science behind it really, but I wouldn't buy another one to be honest.